My name is Brooklyn Partridge and this is my persuasive speech for Speech 205. Secrets of SeaWorld. I want everyone to close your eyes. Everyone now is in the Arctic Ocean. You are in an orca or also known as a killer whale. You are swimming with your mother, father, brother or sister, grandparents, aunt and uncles. You are the newest member of the family. You all have been swimming for a while trying to find food. You all have been taking, tr been talking, trying to even decide where you want to get the food. Suddenly, you see boats come from all directions, circling you and your family. You and your mother are isolated by nets and ropes. Your mother is pulled away from you. Now, you are starting to feel very tired and very weak. You start to feel as though you are flying. Now, you are out of the water and placed on the boat. When you awaken, you are in complete darkness. No light, no family, no nothing. You try to swim, but you can't. Where are you? I'm going to tell you about the poor little killer whale. He is in a module or cell that is 20 feet wide and 30 feet deep. He is in complete darkness, silence, and is starving, according to Blackfish documentary. I will refer to this documentary for a lot of my information. I'll tell you today, it is a recent CNN documentary about SeaWorld. Nothing good about SeaWorld. The dark side. If you don't know, SeaWorld is an amusement park that has orca shows, dolphin shows, rides, shops, and much more. The one I will talk about the most today is the one in Orlando, Florida. I do want to say I have been to SeaWorld multiple times and I love every memory I have ever had there. It is quite an amazing sight, but I never thought about the darker side of SeaWorld until I watched Blackfish. The one hour film changed my whole perspective of SeaWorld. I want to go over a few points. Is this morally acceptable? How it impacts the whales? And how can you help? I want you to watch this clip of Tiddycum, a whale that is being trained at SeaWorld. So, is this natural? One of the fishermen on the boat that captured Tiddycomb, the largest whale in SeaWorld, and the only male right now, sat down to do an interview with CNN. This is what he said. It was one of the worst things I've ever done. I ended up crying and quitting on the spot, according to CNN.com. Okay, if you couldn't imagine yourself as a whale, here's this scenario. You're 10 years old and what is considered the big kid pool. Your mama says, okay, honey, I think you are able to swim alone in the deep end now. The lifeguard lifts your bottom out of the water and places you in the kiddie pool. You know, the one with poop floating around and baby spit up. You are going to think, what the heck just happened? This is the situation that whales have to go through every day. They go from the ocean, the biggest, widest, deepest, most spacious place, to a bathtub. So, is this morally acceptable? Here's a picture of a family of orcas traveling together as a group, and these fish, according to AnimalPlanet.com, stay together for their whole lives. This is a daddy, mom, a grandma, and probably other relatives. This is where they are supposed to be happily swimming alone. This is a photo that was taken of a fisherman isolating a baby and a mama. Eventually, they will isolate the mother away from its baby. This is a picture of um, lifting a whale out of the water to be placed into a module. Again, that is a 20 by 30 feet, tiny compared to the ocean. And this is taken after, taken after they're out of the dark, they are placed with their new family. A new family, a new language, an example, American kidnapped to Australia. Impact. Now, before I start with the wild and tamed, Psychological problems is where I want to start. Do you think this is the whales where in the ocean they would have a routine of when they are put in their own cell in the dark and when they can socialize? Heck no. These whales are taken from their normal habitat to a formal, to a foreign place with people and whales they have never met before. How many of you have ever been in intro to sight? How many of you know the story of the little girl named Danny?
Danny. In the dark for nine years, no language, routine of when she can eat twice, a bucket for a bathroom. Danny was has psychological problems now. Doesn't she have some similarities to these Wells stories? I believe, yeah. If you were one of these Wells, you'd be a little messed up too. They are trapped in this routine till they are too old and are put down or die. Trapped in a cell. Forever. Wild and taint. Now, see this seal? It's on ice. See these Wells line up perfectly? Yeah, they're trained to do this. This is all instinct. This is a hunting routine that their moms and dads taught them to do. There are three wells lined up right here in front of this seal that's on a wobbly piece of ice. What you don't see is one well behind the ice. The three wells make this huge wave causing the seal to lose its balance and fall off. The well back here grabs onto the seal and then all four of them eat the seal. According to the BCN interview with a marine biologist, he explains how these trainers at SeaWorld are exactly placed and thrown like whelks prey. Look at this seal and look at its trainer. Is this an interview with a formal trainer? Now in the beginning of her interview, she states that the whale is stressed, isolated, and, and sick. Would this have happened if he was with his family? No, he would have never killed a human either. This is Dawn. She was killed minutes after a show. She was training him in the back pool and the whale seemed to not want to co cooperate with her. These whales have learned that when the trainer is running out of fish, they can hear the ice and at the bottom of the bucket. So Tiddycomb heard the ice and decided, hey, I'm done. So she quit time. That is where it's just her and the whale bonding time. The fish was already not cooperating and he wanted to play. He kept splashing her and what not and she should give him the sign for not, for no, not now. He eventually decided he was going to play and pulled her ponytail and mauled her to death. He had her dead body for two days under the water. He became very depressed. He missed his friend and they punished him. First was taken out of the shows for a year and isolated from the other whales and kept in the dark. This is him after rejoining shows. Still isolated from the other whales, you can protest, sign petitions, volunteer rehabilitation centers, donate to them. Injured animals should only be in rehabilitation and, and in captivity and boycott SeaWorld. They need us, you, and they need your help.